Hey guys, so today I want to do another SFX makeup that I had done a couple years back. Um, like I did uh, last week with the double fingers being cut off or whatever. So I'm using Scar Wax and some petroleum jelly or Vaseline, whatever you want to call it. And I am putting a snake of Scar Wax down on my wrist. And I'm blending that out, which takes a little bit of time and effort, and Scar Wax is the devil, so, you know, this is always fun. And I hate using spirit gum. Spirit gum reacts with my skin, and um, if you don't know, spirit gum is a, uh, what do you want to call it, a prosthetic glue for, you know, body, for your body, for skin, whatever. And it it kind of reacts with my skin, and I don't have, like, a lot of things that react with me. I'm not really allergic to anything, but that stuff just makes me all red and rashy and gross. So I try not to use it as much as possible. So, um, I do have a little bit of problem keeping the two clumps, which you'll see, on, but for the most part, I make it work. So here, I literally just took my eyebrows razor, the end of it, and I used that to make the quote-unquote cut in my wrist and now I am taking a big ball of it and I am smoothing it out and it takes a little while to start it or to keep it to stick because it doesn't want to stick because it doesn't have anything to stick to but that's alright I'm I don't have anything like prosade or anything like that so um so I just don't use anything and for the most part it works so as you can see I'm just what I'm doing is like making it look like my hand is shifted over or my arm is shifted over the other way of my hand. Um, and I'm doing this because, well, this is something that I had done before and I am making the, the um, shift a little bit bigger by using a little bit bigger uh, um, scar wax, of a clump of scar wax. And I just do this to both sides. So this side will be the top part of the hand and then the other side will be the top part of the arm and don't use scissors people but I can't find my palette knife anywhere I need to get a new one so I use my scissors don't use scissors don't don't do it don't do it do not be a Brianna don't do it yes that was from Ready Crafter if anyone knows don't be a Jackie but that's that's me don't be a Brianna so I'm just doing this and I'm gonna do it for the other side and I do go out of frame sometimes and I'm sorry again do not use scissors and bad influence and here I go getting another big clump out and I'm going to put that on the other side and this is a little bit harder for me to see and I might go out of frame a couple of times um, I try not to but it's kind of hard when you know, you're know you working on yourself and now I'm going to smooth that out and already it's looking pretty good it's kind of looking like you know my wrist is shifted see I'm slightly out of frame here but you can kind of see what I'm doing again using scissors don't do it bad idea already kind of looks like you know they're shifted and now I'm going to use some translucent powder to get rid of the tackiness and the shininess of the petroleum jelly and also the um, scar wax and I'm out of frame I'm so good at this there you are there we go and I'm just kind of smoothing it out again because I didn't like how the one side looked I am using the Morphe palette. You don't have to use the Morphe palette, obviously. And um, the uh, cream palette. You can even use lipsticks for this. Um, but yeah, I just used it, used more pigmented um, eye colors, eyeshadow colors. Excuse me. Jeez, I am bad at this tonight. Um, just because I didn't want to have to keep building up color. So I'm also using red and um, a dark brown from that cream palette right there. 
And then I'm using the two reds that you see right here all around to make it look irritated and bruised. And no, I don't go around the other side of the wrist because, well, I don't show that. So I didn't think it was really needed. So after a while of doing this and then also fixing the, um, the one nub that I didn't really like to look at, which you'll see, I do kind of mess it up, but I, I fix it after. Um, I then will be putting blood, blood, uh, in the crack and yeah. So for the most part, you know, it's pretty much done. Um, a lot of irritation. Probably over irritated, but you know, it's SFX. But see, this is where I try to clean up the clump a little bit and then try to shade it again, and then realize that I mixed a huge part, so then I pull it away and make even more of a mess and then decide that that looks awful and I take a lot of it off. <laughs> and then I use a um, makeup wipe, which, oh, sorry, first I put more color on it. And then I'll take a makeup wipe and wipe off a buttload, which I'm doing here, but you can't see, but a buttload of that makeup so it doesn't look so gross. And then I put some shading down on it. And then blood. And first I use a brush and put it in there, and then I'm just like, you know what? Nah. And then I dump it all on. I like a lot of blood. I'm gory. Wee! Blood. And then I just stipple it all over with my fingers. And we're pretty much done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's another short one, but you know, that's just how they end up being. But I hope you really en I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time that I upload. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!